Elon Musk's ambitious plans are under question. I am talking about his medical device company, Neuralink. For the last four years, he has been predicting Neuralink would start human trials and he did not seek FDA's blessings before making these tall claims. Much to his dismay, the agency has rejected the application a year ago, but it wasn't reported until now. Let's just break this down for you. For those unwell, Neuralink is developing a brain implant. The chip would control gadgets through brain activity. In simple words, Elon Musk describes it as a Fitbit for your brain, something that could stimulate and record your brain's functioning. It's not a science fiction plot. These are Musk's real ambitions. But they don't sit right with the FDA. The agency has cited multiple serious concerns, the primary one being the device's lithium battery. There are many variables and risk factors. The tiny wires could migrate to other areas of the brain. And even if it is successfully implanted, how could it be taken out without damaging the brain tissues? While those are practical technicalities, I have a bigger question for you. How would those chips be used? I hope you understand, I'm talking about an implant that would sit in your brain, made by a private company. What assures that it will not be used for unethical purposes? For Musk's selfish benefits? Well, nothing. What really is Elon Musk's motive? What is the plan here? Would you want a Musk chip in your head? Musk claims that Neuralink's brain chips will one day make humans hyper-intelligent. They would let paralyzed people walk again. But just what kind of intelligence are we really talking about? Something that aligns with Musk's ideologies? Does he want people to think and act on his whims? To share his dreams of colonizing Mars? Because it's still not clear what his real motive here is. And despite all the hurdles, Musk retains full confidence as far as his technology is concerned. He sees the regulators as nothing but obstacles to innovation. But what exactly is this innovation? What would he achieve through these chips? Is brain control his real motive? Does he want to eliminate people's individuality and have, have them behave like zombies? Even without these brain implants, Musk seems to have a certain hold on the people. Neuralink staffers and several investors are on board with his plans. And Musk fans have not hesitated from getting body implants. Some, in fact, have gone so far as to, as to surgically inserting Tesla keys in their hands. Can we see it as a gateway to brain implants? Would it be the next trend if Neuralink chips ever pass human trials? Well, who can say? For now, the FDA is cautious and skeptical, but Musk remains optimistic. In December 2022, he predicted the implants would go to human trial in six months. That is in June 2023. This was after the FDA's rejection. Clearly, Musk is not giving up. What is he really up to? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.